Madison. <laughs> I'm so happy this day is here. I cannot wait to be with you forever. I met Sam in uh, high school, became pretty fast friends. And if you know Sam for a little while, you understand that he's an extremely loyal individual. Occasionally, rare occasion, has a decent joke. But most importantly, I love him like a brother. Obviously, like pretty much every uh, sister duo out there, Maddie and I have had our fair share of ups and downs. I will forever be thankful for having her um, as my built-in best friend. Knowing she's always there for me to support me and give me the advice I do and sometimes don't want to hear um, is something I will never take for granted. I also just can't even begin to say how happy I am that she found Sam. I would have never thought that I would meet my soulmate in a religion class at Baylor, but for some reason, the universe put you in that seat behind me so that we could meet, and I've never been so grateful for anything in my life. If you really know Sam, if you really know him, you know he's a bit of a character. Sam calls us, he's like, guys, I don't know what to do. I have glaucoma. <laughs> I was like, dude, but are you sure? He had it on Tuesday, cured by Wednesday. This man's a miracle worker. <laughs> so the only reason why I tell you this is so that I can explain to you my skepticism when one day Sam calls me from Baylor, overly excited. Oddly enough, I don't think I will ever forget their first date. It was also just the start of truly one of the most Baylor relationships I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, they met in a Christian heritage class. They went to the farmer's market for their first date and she got the ring by spring. So shout out to that. It's like, Michael, coming into town this weekend, I want you and the group to meet this girl I've been dating. Her name is Madison. She's wonderful, she's smart, she's funny. I just, I, I, I need y'all to meet her right now. I don't wanna be mean. We didn't think she was real. <laughs> We're all sitting there at the bar, door swings open. Sam is uncontrollably laughing hand in hand with Madison who's shaking her head and rolling her eyes. So Sam just told a joke, <laughs> guaranteed. And all of us were floored. Number one, she was real. Number two, everything Sam had told me about her was true. I will never forget the day we met and how coincidental it was. Looking back, I know it happened for a reason. The first time we came home to San Antonio together was the weekend I knew I'd fall in love with you. I knew that deep down, the two of us together was something special. Since that day, over two years ago, you've become such a special part of my life. You're my best friend, the person I depend on the most. You make me laugh every day, and I love how encouraging, supportive, and caring you are. <laughs> Thank you so much for loving me so selflessly. I know I don't say it enough, but I appreciate the things you do for me more than you know. Thank you for being the man that you are, and I'm so excited and proud that I get to be your wife forever. Sam, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> I just don't really think I'll ever forget it because it was truly the first time in months that I think I've seen her um, just genuinely so happy. Um, and I know that if she's that happy after one date that the rest of your lives together are truly going to be um, everything you deserve and more. Stop looking at me like that and cry. Okay. <laughs> And as soon as she got home, we I think we talked about it for like an hour, um, and she was head over heels for him already, I think. Sam, to you, 
you know, you can always talk to me about everything she hates, like video games and shooting and all the fun things. Um, but most importantly, I'm just so happy to officially be able to call you my brother-in-law. Um, and I just love you so much. Um, I'm going to stop because I'm a mess, but I love y'all. Congrats. When Sam came to me and said, hey, man, I'm going to propose, nothing came to mind except the porch. Some things just make sense, like peanut butter and jelly, eggs and bacon, or Sam and his conditions. They're just right. And the way y'all are together, always happy, always smiling, always lifting each other up, I know it's nothing but a bright future ahead. So at this moment, I'd like everyone to please raise their glass to the bride and groom. To Sam, I say congratulations. To Madison, good luck. Cheers. Closer, closer to your lips